everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCare, and welcome to my channel. I am doing more jar lids because they are popular, and this is a great time of year to be doing this because it's a great idea for gifts. You can make something really pretty. You have a homemade gift to give somebody, and you can fill it with treats that they might like, so they have the treat, and then they have the gift that will keep on giving from now until whenever. So what I have here is my lid. This is the airtight jar lid and I tape the back and you can see how I tape it. So I've got to make sure when I'm painting it, I get paint down here and then resin down here as well. And uh, I have a video with all of how I tape, specifically how I resin. And I think it's 278, but I will list it above. So I'll put it on top of my Noosa cup on top of a two ounce cup and I leave it right here like this. So my paints. These are my blooms, bloom paints. I've got my uh, iridescent silver by Golden. And with this is some Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue. This here is a combination of TLP Frost and Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue. And this is Prism Pores Violet Rose. This is Arteza's Pearl Lilac. And then this is my combination of Payne's Gray by Golden and Arteza. And I have a combination here of TLP White Haven, Prism Pores uh, Chantilly Lace, and Golden's Iridescent Pearl. But let me tell you, it's too thick. So I know I've got plenty of pigment here. So all I'm going to do is just give it a couple squirts of little spritzes of water, mix it up, and then uh, I'll be I'll be good to go. I got to get this to be a little more runny, and I may or may not even use this. And it's acting really bubblicious, so I'll have to pound out the bubbles. And the way I do that is I just bang it down on a solid surface. So that's a little bit better, but I'll, I'll do some more. I have my American Floatrol Cell Activator. Pretty thinny, thinny, runny consistency. This is my Video 141. And then I have my Multi Pro that I'll use as my pillow. So let me thin this down a little bit more. probably cut all this part out and if I use this at all it'll be just a little okay that's better all right everybody I'm going on to number two uh, I don't know if I showed that video or if I'm gonna show this one but with the last video the lid was a little cattywampus and there was a little buildup of paint in here. It was so built up. I mean, this is some thick paint in here. So I went ahead and scraped off the top and I've got this fresh. So that's much better. Every once in a while, and you have a lot of, a lot of paint built up. You gotta take a pause every once in a while and give it a good look out. Now I gotta watch that it stays stable and doesn't move too much because I have no paint holding it down. Now on the first one, I let, went a little, hey, a little crazy with the silver. So I'm gonna go a little less on the silver. But the color combination was a good one. So that's the silver with the Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. This is TLP Frost. With what else? Arteza's Pearl Glacier Blue. I'm gonna go with a little bit of this Prism Pores Chantilly Lace and our um, Golden's Pearl. And TLP Whitehaven. 
This is Arteza's Lilac, Pearl Lilac. And I, I said it in the other video, but with this color combination, I'm going for a wintry feel. Now this looks springy, but when you put these colors together, it comes out wintry, my way of looking at it. And if you have a lot of bubbles, if you just smash it down, that helps take some of the initial bubble edge out, out of it before you lay it down. Paint's gray. This is way thick. I need to thin this down. But not now, because I've already got some down there. So once you're in, you're committed. Once again, I got too much paint on here. This hardly needs any paint at all. Cell activator. It's the white. I've been having trouble with my blow lately. Black. I mean, look at this, it's not going. I trust that'll, ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. Oh, this is killing me. Oh, it was so pretty. Oh, oh my God. Okay. All right, well, there's no sense getting too upset about it. Well, I'll put less paint down this time. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it was too bad because that was really pretty. All right. You know, I haven't done that before. Wow. I can't believe I did that. was so pretty. Now I'm starting over. Oh well. There it goes again. See? This is the risk. When you lay it down fresh, you know what? Let me do this. 
get some of this paint and that'll help hold it there. I don't think anything you got that learning out of it. Okay, here we go. So here I'm going to go four times through the colors because you've already seen it. And I kept the audio in because it's what I was saying after the snafu. Bummer. But focus on what's coming up here. That's what I do now. I can't fix the past. I don't know about you guys, but for me, fluid art has been a challenge of my character as well. Patience, confidence, creativity, risk-taking. I mean, it has been a challenge in every direction for me. So maybe that happening is what led is leading to this conversation. If anything I've learned, and this is absolutely true from resining especially, fluid art, if it doesn't come out right, you can go back and fix it. So when I wanted to keep my musings in following the mishap because it's really what I said and how I reacted and I thought it was worthwhile to share, especially what my learnings have been in my art journey. I mean, every step of the way hasn't been easy. There's been a lot of challenges, and you get to see most of my successes. But I wanted to share my insight into my brain following a bad situation, just because I think it is valuable for you to see that. So because my paints are admittedly thick, Normally I have thick paints, but these are especially thick. The cell activator is not responding as well because the paints just aren't pushing through as easily. So I'm just giving it a little motivation with the straw and we're gonna get going here. Wow, this is, this is gorgeous. Let it come back. I think the cooler weather is affecting my cell activator. A lot slower to come back. I might have to make an adjustment somehow. Let's not be crazy, but I want it to go this way a little more. Okay. I've got an official blooper. Unintended. But I knew there was a risk in doing what I did with taking that paint off. Because when you're first starting up with a fresh Noosa cup or with a fresh anything, you've got to be careful with your spin because of that. It just, it's not solid. It's not steady yet. I can't believe I did that. But what does this tell you? This is going to come back probably better than I had. So the lesson learned is you just keep going. Be careful with it. This thing's almost done. Face plant jar lid. You should call this the face plant jar lid. Make sure I get my sides fully down. I got plenty of paint because I've done it twice. <laughs> One more spin because I haven't spun enough around here. <laughs> oh my Lord. Well, I think in the end, it all worked out just great. This is beautiful. That's really pretty. Okay, everybody, so here she is. Just gorgeous. 
So everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this extended video, but I really felt it was important for you to see the mishap because, you know, in real life, things do happen. And while you often see my successes, I need to share some of the failures too because I am just as human as anybody else. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, hit the bell and all, you'll get all my latest art tutorials. Leave a comment, a thumbs up would be nice too. At the end, I will have my Jar Lids playlist. And if you wanna see the full start to finish creation, it's video 295. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care, till next time.